Hello guys, we're back for another German food video. This time we got invited from the uh, Frühkölsch brewery at the uh, Brauhaus am Dom. If you are in Cologne, be sure to check that out. In the last video we were uh, trying out German food with Moses. So if you haven't seen that one, please be sure to check that out. The link will be in the description. And this time we're gonna be joined by one of the biggest big fans, Maui Snake. And yeah, I would say we go in and try some German food. So today we are at the uh, Früh am Dom, uh, at the Brauhaus, and I'm sitting here with uh, Maui Snake. Hello. Hey, pleasure to be here. Thank pleasure. you. Pleasure you are here. Do you have anything specific that you want to try? Uh, well, I think you, I, I know that Moses needs me to try the pickled herring, so I have to get that one. So he's going to have a laugh when I, when I try that, I think. Cheers. Where should I start? Okay, which one do you want to start with? I mean... I kind of want that because it's the most extreme. First bite of herring, let's go. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah, I like that. Like, just that pickle taste, the acidity takes away from the fishiness. So it's never, it's never overwhelming. And also the cream is mellowing it all out really nicely too. So, also the onions also just add that nice crunch too. Just like a potato salad, but instead it's herring in it. And in a lot of ways, that's actually, that gives it way more depth than just a potato salad. So this is, yeah, this is a really solid dish. Really solid dish, great. Yeah. What would you uh, rate it from one to 10? What would you? Like, do you want to try the others first, or...? Yeah, maybe maybe I'll just give this a seven for like a baseline level, yeah. and then I'll adjust ratings after. Yeah. You see, Moses, you can eat herring. <laughs> <laughs> when it's covered with cream, and it's got all these other garnishes. This is like always uh, difficult to eat because it's like right from the bone. Yeah. But it's uh, very... Oh, it's mm. got a nice crunch on yeah. it. Oh, it's, they leave the skin on. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay. The skin is delicious. It's a little chewy, a little chewier than I thought it was gonna be. You know what? I'm gonna move this up to an eight and this to a seven. Okay. I like this more actually. I like but you have to try the uh, potatoes okay. because Let's the go. potatoes are one of my favorites actually. Okay, that's a more complete bite for sure. I almost want just a ton of potatoes to match this. Like every bite, I want potatoes with the bite actually. <laughs> so far I've liked both these dishes actually, so. If I were to order one in the future, I would actually pick this first, though, still. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, the most requested dish uh, you guys had for us was the Käsespätzle. I think it was the uh, top-rated comment under that. Yeah, I could eat that every day. Also. <laughs> yeah, every day of the week I could eat that. That's great. Nice, like, nice subtle cheesiness. The, the fried onions on top are great, too. I mean, it is similar to mac and cheese, but it's a white cheese instead of a mm. instead of a yellow cheese. So no, yeah, no cheddar. Yeah, it's a little bit more mellow like that, um, not as sharp. And I I would say that the the shape of the pasta also is kind of like it's kind of inconsistent in a good way. Like some of them are a little long and yeah. stringy, and some of them are kind of just bunched up. It's almost like gnocchi. It's it's really good. It's like, like real I. Really would recommend this to anybody to coming anybody. to Germany for sure. If you're not sure what to order on a menu, that is the easiest option and and the safest option probably. No one's gonna dislike that. It, yeah, unless you have some dietary restriction that's so that's so solid. So we just ordered some more food. Uh, this year is called Sauerbraten. Okay. We have an option with that in Germany, which is called Rheinischer Sauerbraten, uh, which is made with horse meat. Right. But this one is the, the safe bet, the safe route, this is beef. <laughs> All right, so this okay. is like the normal uh, version of Sauerbraten. Oh, this seems pretty tender, actually. Yeah. Oh, this is ripping apart a lot easier than the, the pork from earlier. Yeah, it's not that uh, okay, not sure. that much fat, fat in it. Let me get some like... Oh, wow, this thing is really gelatinous. Yeah. Wow, look at the, I can't even... This is no, not, not potato, this is like mashed potatoes yeah. uh, uh, put in a... What? Wow, it's so... It's so spongy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is also a very German thing. Like, okay. You, you, I, I've never seen that anywhere uh, else, actually. You probably have to put this one in the sauce. Mm. That's good, though. It's like a kind of a fruity sauce. I'm going to try this on its own. This is so... Yeah, why is it... <laughs> it's like gelat... Yeah, it is kind of gelatinous. Like, it's, it's, it's almost... Yeah, it's a little jelly-ish. Not not really like jellied, but it, it's it's just it's not just starchy like potato. Yeah, definitely. For anybody watching that doesn't like that does Chinese cooking, then you use like potato starch to make like the batter for like an outside of like an orange chicken, for example. So yeah, it's like a 
Okay, yeah, that's kind of, that makes sense. That's, that's really, <laughs> yeah, that's not how people really use ingredients in America. <laughs> Let's do it all. Slap that on. Okay. Boom. Boom. Everything. Yeah, that's just a flavor you would not get in America, actually. <laughs> The combination? Yeah. No, you'd never get that. Mm. First of all, you don't really get much rhubarb in America. And then this kind of figgy gravy sauce mm -hmm. with that. It's like, actually gets very sweet, but then because of the rhubarb isn't, act, it doesn't stay very sweet. It's not like really sugary. Yeah. It's just kind of like a sharp, like fruity note. And then just kind of like goes and then you just get all the meatiness. It's, yeah. It's nice. Actually, it's. I didn't know they had flavors like this here, actually. <laughs> this is, I would have never really expected this to kind of punch in the same way that it did. This one was also good. I would actually rate this higher. I, I don't know if I'd rate it higher than the, the, the knuckle. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I, but in terms of how soft the meat is, I would rate that part higher. Yeah. Probably also give this like a seven or eight, I'd say. I just, mostly though because of the flavor combination being so unique. I, if it, it could probably wear on me after a while, because it's, it's kind of like, just like sweet meat, yeah. which is not, which is really odd. <laughs> but I I definitely don't dislike it. Okay, this one is like the basic skiing holiday type of uh, dessert we all, always eat when we go skiing. Because mm -hmm. this is also something which is very popular in Bavaria and Austria and Switzerland. Yeah. So I think you just have to uh, give it a go. All right. Yeah, that's like apple pie. Yeah, yeah, it's ex it's exactly tastes exactly like apple pie. It's just la layered a little differently. Yeah, it's really good though. And you usually uh, combine it with like uh, vanilla ice cream. This is just apple pie, and apple pie is a ten out of ten dessert. So it's a ten out of ten. <laughs> There's no, no complaints with that at all. Okay, what was this one called again? Uh, Rote Grütze. Rote Grütze. Rote Grütze. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of the vanilla yeah. and a bunch of the berries. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Mm. Oh wow, yeah, I mean that's really good. Also, um, just kind of like a nice, like the spread of berries is really good. Also the berries are nice and there's like a little bit of tartness mm -hmm. in this. And it's, it, it's nice, the vanilla also is just just good. It's just good vanilla too. It doesn't, not too strong or anything. Probably like more like an eight out of 10 mm -hmm. because it's just a little too tart. Yeah, I can me. see that. Yeah, if it were a little bit less tart, like maybe use half the black currants, then it would be sweeter and I think I would maybe enjoy it more. Yeah. Yeah. So we just finished all of our dishes and all of our drinks. Uh, in total, what would you say, how would you like your German food uh, experience? I, I, I think I liked a lot of the flavors in it and that caught me off because I don't think I really thought of Germany as having more flavors that I wouldn't be used to, uh, like rhubarb, uh, black currant. Um, these are things that we just don't get in America very much, so those were nice. Uh, I think like the preparation of everything isn't too crazy, but it's very hearty, everything. It's very comforting for the most part, except for the pickled herring. <laughs> so that's, that's a little more unique, yeah. And now uh, about the most important part of the video, the fruit culture. How did you like that? The fruit culture. Uh, the fruit culture, this was the best culture I've had, for sure. Uh, a little bit, little bit more, it's a, it was like a little bit more full than some of the cultures I've had, which are less flavorful. Yeah, just a little bit more flavor, so yeah, good culture. Thanks to Brauers Fru am Dom for having us. Um, if you're in Cologne or if you're here for AM, uh, be sure to check this out. This is right next to the Kölner Dome. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe and ring the notification bell. And thank you for joining us for today. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, everything was great and I found my new favorite Kolsch. Perfect. We're going to see you in the next video, guys. See you.